Right everyone, it's the 28th of November 2016. Fidro Castro died the other day, the revolutionary of Cuba, who became a dictator, he got carried away with power. We did have good health service over there. There's lots of bonuses. Now I'm in this field, can you see there's cows? There's some cows just over there. I'm not going to zoom in because the sun's right in front. In fact, right in front of me, over in the distance, is Glastonbury Tor. Um, but I'm, fortunately, the cows are, there's a huge, big herd of them. They're over there. I've come up, I kept close to this fence thinking I might have to climb over it. Because some cows are attracted to you. They might think you've got hay or something like that, you see. But so I've got to go into to an area in a moment, not not further up, where there is a massive herd of very wild, frisky looking cows, and they might not have been taken in yet. I mean, I've come out today with the hope that some of the fields I can't do in the summer will be accessible to me today. Over to walking towards Pretty, so that's where I am. But here we've got um, the Cheddar and Exbridge Reservoir, we've got Crook's Peak right over there, Brent Knoll, Nyland Mound, and Glastonbury Tor. This is Sheila's country garden around here. This is my land. <laughs> and I'm in this humpy bumpy field, which is probably of significance. This sumpy bumpy field, it's probably got lots of history attached to it. More and more of the cows are moving up now, so I've just... But in the distance you can hear a real wild... A real load of wild cows. Now, I've got a feeling I've got to go towards there. I could have gone a slightly different way, but I thought... I thought the cow noise was coming from down there, so I decided to come up here and go round. But it looks like they're going to be this herd I met, and I had to make my own ramp to get over this barbed wire fence in the summer because um, there was a bull. They were very threatening the cows. They were doing that, um, stamping their feet and and all that, and doing clawing movements. Now, see, as I come here, this could be cow land as well. That's Fred. That's freshly trod turf there. In fact, the gate might be open, letting them in here, so I need to get ahead of them, get to the next turning. Because it could be that those cows there, though they look friendly, could actually come in here. Yes, they might be able to come in over that way somewhere. But um, here we've got a gate here, this is like... Um, the safe area for humans, I think, if you go in there. You know, it's like being in with the tigers, yeah, where I am. Whereas that's the protected area for the humans. <laughs> right? The Cheddar Caves and Gorge protecting nature. Danger, keep away from the cliff edges. They don't tell you about the bull and the cows. Anyway, basically, this is a lovely walk, everyone. I mean, before now, I've gone down all the way down this pathway, gone all the way round, and gone all the way up round that way, on top of the Mendips, and over there you've got Robero Warren that I talk about a lot. We're getting familiar with the Mendips, anyone who follows me. We've got the Wells signal mast. Never really comes out, it's tall and thin. And then we've got this old track that I rarely see anyone on. But cows do have access. Now, there's that um, watering hole back there that looked as yes, cows have been freshly round it. But in a minute, I've got to see where this wild bunch are. Um, there's a wild bunch of cows that have actually got quite an extensive area to cover. See the cow pack. But well, that's, that's, that isn't that old. But it could be that the gate might be open down here where that lock can get through. So this is all part of um, the cheddar area here. We've got the masts on the hill over there that I talk about. Reference points. You've got the, the, the main mendip stretch along that bit. One of the main areas.
Yeah, I can't see a gate open, but you never know where the cows can get through. If you follow a track down there, that leads you down to the gorge, or up the other side towards Black Rock, um, Longwood, and all around that way, if, if I went down there. If I, if I was just going to do just a simple walk I would do that one I mean I've just had a hell of a hike up a hill um, and because I'm doing some extra studying at the moment that hill was hard because I haven't really been out for two weeks properly on a walk um, yeah I haven't really out, been out for two weeks I just hope those cows I can hear I haven't got a face <laughs> Um, it's be unfortunate if they're in that field still, because I mean, <sighs> that means I've got to I hope my little ramp that I made is still there to help me get over this barbed wire fence into a different field. So this time, see they're normally taken in about now, but this lot are a wild bunch. It's possible they're just, they're making a lot of noise. Now whether that's because the farmers come out with some hay, to feed them and they're excited or they're being rounded up to be put in the barn or, or go, go to slaughter they get fattened up in the summer don't they but all like for all I know they could be just up there in this field here as I pointed out to my daughter Zara they're not warning you when there's a bull amongst the herd anymore I mean, I always thought they had to, but they're, they're not. They're not, I've never, I haven't seen any signs around this way of the bull. I've seen them, they've got a ring in their nose and they're bloody massive. And, but it's not always the bull, actually, that I found gets nasty. The cows do. The cows get nasty, especially when they're coughing. And they're big. A lot of these cows are really big. So we'll have to see what happens because I know there are cows. There might not be cows in that field. The other side of that wall they are. Yeah, you can normally tell by cow pack. See, there's another... No, no watering hole there. All this round here has probably been mined in the past, by the way. And of course the caves and all that are under the ground back there. Everywhere we walk we're under the... have got a cave system below us. Where I just walked up a minute ago there'd be a cave system under me. You could disappear down all. And you get these strange mounds everywhere as well. Loads of them. Yeah, it was... I think it was... Um, Two weeks ago, I was doing a lot of uh, Stockhill Forest, and I drove back down through Cheddar Gorge, and I passed the big herd of cows that were up here somewhere, and they were they were filthy, they were rampaging around, and that's what I think I've heard up here. So, um, we'll have to see. The idea today, by the way, is for me to... I'm heading towards Pretty. The field's near Pretty. And um, some other villages. I've, there's a part of a walk I want to do. There weren't any cows. When I drove past from Stockhill Forest the other day, the cows in another area weren't there in some fields that I, I do when you close to pretty. See there's cow pack. I would say that's at least a day old. But that big herd probably come in here. I've heard someone with a gun as well. There's somebody shooting. Yeah I mean I've walked all up over there and along the bank there down, across, up. Everywhere you see I've walked. I've walked even as far as you can see over there. And if you want to go all the way over to Glastonbury, I've done that as well. And I've done all that. All those hills over there, I've done them all. Walking, cycling. 
they said it was going to be nice today and so now what's that I can see I've got to keep my eyes peeled ready to get into say that field there if those cows are rampaging up there for example so I can sort of see some sort of movement and I'm not sure if it's cows because I'll have to change direction you see yeah look at that that's very new they are in this area so I think I'm going to have to I think there's a gate in a minute I'm going to have to get into a different field I think imagine they come along now they've got all the brambles you can't just get it you can't get out of the way so there are some but I've got a feeling there's another gate yet yeah there's definitely this cow pack fresh 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 cow pack it is always a risk I was hoping they'd be gone by now see look how fresh that is and they come all the way along here, see? That's very fresh. Look at that. Hopefully they're going that way ahead of me. And I have seen some a minute ago, so I've got to be prepared to get into another field because um, they are wild looking. Or turn back. If I feel they're coming this way, I'll have to turn back and do enough go go up round the other side of Cheddar Gorge. I'll just have to change my route. I'll just see. The things with cows, they came round quick. Yeah, I might have to get into a field over there. I've seen a tractor not long ago, so I don't know if they're in that field. Because there are some cows that hang about here. Actually. We just have to see how we go. It's part of, it's like being, you know, if you were going on a safari in Africa, our cows are dangerous. I don't care what anyone says, right, you might be lucky for a thousand times, but it only takes once to kill you. So I keep my eyes peeled. I, I've heard this herd for since I got off the bus in Cheddar. I heard that I could hear this herd making all this commotion. Yeah, there's a watering hole. They think they're using this area a lot more. So when I first come up here, whether they're trying to keep people off it, I don't know. Yeah, there's that's see, look, that's being used. Uh, a lot of these were redundant. Yeah, and it wasn't like this. Look at all those footmarks. Yeah, very fresh. I think they're ahead of me. I think they've been going along here. They might be heading towards the farm. They might actually head towards the farm, but if you can see along here, look, all the barbed wire. I had to make an improvised barrier for me to be able to climb over one of these walls when those big cows were quite close to me. It's not easy because if you look at here, you've got double fencing with two lots of barbed wire, and you've got that. I mean, you could jump off that wall and then you could hurt yourself. I think they're ahead. Look how, look how fresh that is. They're ahead. Hopefully then they're, they're not going to come back. They've got a lot of that. Um, they have actually got a lot of land, these cows. Um, and I think the farmer has come out with some hay. This is my theory because I've seen a tractor earlier coming from there. You might be coming back now. They might actually keep the cows out more. I always thought there was a gate along here somewhere. That, ah, there might be. There's another wall there. If necessary, I've got to get into another field. He's probably gone out. What, what they've done, the cows. He's probably had a trailer of hay. 
And because I could hear them right back there and thinking, oh, they're, they're closer, they've been moving along. They would know that the farmer had hay. And because it's nice, they're keeping them out. But I haven't seen a gate. I haven't seen a gate. Right, over and out for now, I'll come back to you. It will be a noisy video because of the wind. But I've got to negotiate dangerous animals.